Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. It's Kaylee from Eat Plants Live Well. And I wanted to go over today a question that I get, a very common question that I get in regards to starting a raw food diet. I have just a ton of people asking me, how, how do I get started? How do I incorporate raw foods into my diet? How do I, how do I get to be 100% raw or 80% raw or whatever? And the best advice that I can give is what I did, which is I started to just kind of gradually replace meals with fresh fruit. And so the first time, the first meal that I did that with was breakfast. I think that's the easiest meal for most people because it's prepared at home typically um, before you go to work or go to school. So the best way to do it is just to take whatever you've been eating, which in my case was oatmeal, and replace that with fresh fruit. And so I, instead of having oatmeal every morning, I started having just bananas, oranges, or blueberries. So whatever was in season is what I had for my first meal. And at first it was difficult because it was different and I wasn't sure that that, that could sustain me until lunch. You know, I was used to eating a big bowl of oatmeal and not fruit. Uh, so it was, it, was, it was interesting at first, but uh, I eventually learned that fruit can sustain you just as much as, if not more, than like oatmeal or bagels or anything else that I was eating. So I took and replaced that and I made sure that I was taking in enough fruit uh, to kind of equi equivalent, the equivalent amount of calories that I was ingesting uh, with my normal uh, breakfast, which was again the oatmeal. So I would eat between 600 and 900 calories in the morning and again just fresh whole fruit. So there were no, no complicated recipes, there's no complicated smoothie ingredients you need to do. You don't need a blender. Um, it's something that you can just when you're at the store getting your regular uh, items for groceries you can just pick up some fresh fruit in a quantity that again is enough to sustain you for one meal. And then just try that for a few days and see how that goes. And you might be surprised at how filling fruit can be and uh, how much it will actually, you know, lead up to like uh, at least a snack in the mid after or mid morning and then maybe up to lunch as far as um, filling you up and making you feel full. So that's what I would recommend is just go ahead and grab some fresh fruit and uh, you know if, if that works for you then you know move up to doing that for your lunch too. So breakfast and, and lunch will be both all fruit meals and um, and then of course you can move on to dinner at some point in the future but don't put too much pressure on yourself as far as like you know oh I want to do it all or nothing uh, breakfast is a great way to start as far as replacing that meal with an all fruit meal and again don't worry about doing recipes or smoothies or you know don't think you need to go get a Vitamix although that is awesome if you have one um, just start with fresh whole seasonal fruit that you enjoy and you might be amazed at how much uh, you enjoy that compared to what you've been eating. And especially if you're, if you work out, it's a great post-workout meal is fresh fruit. And the high water content fruits are even better. So you can get like uh, watermelon or grapes or oranges are in season. Uh, so depending on what's available, um, get the high water content fruits and uh, eat as much as you want or until you're full. And uh, that's a great way to start a raw food diet and that's what I would recommend. All right, so tune in for more videos. And if you like this video, click the like button below and go ahead and subscribe to Eat Plants Live Well if you're interested in that and appreciate any subscribers. And uh, thanks for tuning in and continue to eat plants and live well. Thanks. Uh, a lot of 